What is going on everybody, Andy Coinbuster here back with a brand new High Limit Coinbuster video for you all today. And in today's episode we're going to be doing a $100 million buy-in. And they gave us 100 quarters to get started today. Very, very expensive and risky game. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it to go with this first buy-in right here. Just because they don't have any quarters at all on the pusher shelf or the lower shelf I mean they got quarter towers and stuff but uh, we don't usually we'll need quarters to be like on the actual play field like covering everything for it to you know start paying out with only a hundred quarters so anyway you get what I'm trying to say so we got about 55 60 quarters in there as of right now I think we'd have better luck just playing on one particular side only and that's the right side, that's what we're pushing on right now, so. Anyway, they got like five quarter towers in there. Well, technically four quarter towers and one quarter pyramid. And they got two one dollar chips on the left and the right corners. So yeah, each one of them one dollar chips is worth uh, 500 free quarters if we can get those. So that would help out tremendously if we could get that. All right, well, that was the last of our quarters there, and we got the big old tower on the right side to go. Seems like it's moving some stuff forward. Yeah, it would be nice to get that $1 chip over there. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it, though. Well, maybe soon. So, anyway, we just lost $100 million just like that. They definitely knew what they were doing when they were setting up this game right here. All right, so let's do another buy-in. That'll make $200 million. We'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. So I paid another hundred million dollars for a hundred more quarters. So now we got two hundred million in this game right here. Yeah, the most money we've ever spent on one of these was like two point one billion or something. So uh, hopefully we don't have to spend that today. I don't even know if it'd be worth it to do, you know, even another buy-in if we had to. I don't know if they got enough in there. I mean, they got tons of towers, tons of mystery bags, white dice in there. It's loaded up fairly well, I guess, but still don't know if there's enough to make two or three hundred million out of there. I mean, there should be. They got twenty-five thousand dollar chips today. These two towers in the center here, those are all twenty-five thousand dollar chips. All right, so we got just a few quarters left, you all. It's very, very risky right here. All right, last three or four quarters going in right now. Let's see what happens. Come on, give me something. All right, well, we got 20 grand right there, but no quarters back. I think we got like 30 grand in total or something. All right, so anyway, I'm going to go do another $100 million buy-in. I think we'll get it to go on this time right here, so we'll be right back. All righty, I am back. So I did another $100 million buy-in. We got $300 million in this game. So, yeah, this is getting very, very expensive, you all. I don't know if we're going to be able to win this much money back, but I'm doing this for you all. I know you all enjoy seeing the large buy-in, so this is $300 million. Oh, my goodness, the quarter pyramid's about to go. We got, like, 15 quarters left. Nice, there it goes. We just got it, so I think we're set now. I had to guess. All right, last couple quarters going in right now from that uh, third buy-in we just did. So let's see what happens. All right, so let's get that loot chute cleared out, round up all those quarters, and we'll continue pushing. All righty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I got that loot chute cleared out. We want a decent amount of quarters, so let's keep it going. We're about to get these two big old towers right here. Those are $25,000 chips. Probably at least two or 300 quarters right there, so. Yeah, it would be nice to get one of these $1 chips, though. We could really, really use that right now. Yeah, they got a uh, humongous tower back there on the pusher shelf. It's made out of $5,000 chips and uh, one-ounce gold bars. The center, I mean, you can tell what's the gold. It's all that stuff right there. All right, well, anyhow, uh, that, them two big old towers in the center got stuck on the edge. That's not good right there, I'll tell you. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do about stuff getting stuck on the edge like that on this machine. I think they should uh, try to fix that or something. Put a different part right here. And this right here seems like it's like too high up or something. 
Yeah, they'll end up fixing it, I'm sure. 99.9% .9 sure of it. It'd be nice to get one of these $1 chips, though. That would really, really help out tremendously. The bad part about it is all the quarters they got stuck against the glass right here. Oh my goodness, Will. I think we just got that $1 chip on the left corner. That is what I'm talking about. That is absolutely spectacular. So that'll be worth 500 free quarters when we turn that in. So we'll turn that in here in just a second. Anytime now. Now there's a white dice getting pretty close to the edge on that left side there. Oh my goodness, I think we're going to get the two towers in the center. All those $25,000 chips, pretty sure anyway. Yeah, right now I'm just mainly worried about the uh, quarters. Quarters are the most important thing right now. And once we build up our quarter count, get all the $1 chips out of there, all the quarter towers, we should have enough quarters to make it through the entire game. I hope so, anyway. I mean, if not, we're going to be in trouble. So we got $300 million in this game. I mean, you see, that's the reality of playing these machines. A lot of times it takes several buy-ins like that to get it to go, and then... A lot of times I'll, you know, spend so much money it's impossible to make that amount back. Nice, there we go. Well, things are happening right now. We're getting the quarter towers to go. Hopefully we can get the $1 chip and the tower on the right corner as well. Oh yeah, I think we're about to get all that money right there in the center, you all. It is so close to the edge. Alright, so I just put a whole bunch of quarters in there at one time. We'll see if that makes any magic happen. Come on, right side, you can do it. Fall on out of there. So yeah, they got two big old ginormous dollar sign money mister bags in there today. Those are usually loaded up pretty good. Most of the time you can count on those to be loaded up real good. Especially considering we've spent $100 million on this game. They should be loaded up marvelously well. So as of right now, I only had like a half a billion dollars in my account. So we nearly, you know, lost everything. Yeah, I cashed out the other day and stuff, but anyway, we nearly lost everything that was in my account on this game right here. If we'd have had to have done two more buy-ins, it would have been over. I wouldn't have had nothing left. So we nearly went bankrupt on this game, I guess you can say that. Oh my goodness, well... I mean, it's a good thing the tower finally fell down, but, but there's so much money stuck in there. It's not even funny. Oh my goodness, look at all that gold and $5,000 chips for this one. That is marvelous. Wow, look at all this money we're making today. This is unbelievable. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. Well... Yeah, I will turn in those two $1 chips here in just a second. Well, actually, now that I look at it, all the $25,000 chips that was stuck on the edge finally fell down. Yeah, there ain't no more $25,000 chips stuck in there. That's magnificent. So now the only problem we're looking at is the gold and the $5,000 chips. And check that out, they had a green earbud in there today. Oh my goodness, well thank goodness they had a green earbud in there because if that wouldn't have been in there uh, to get the stuff that's on the blue shelves, 
I mean the watch shelves today uh, we'd have to pay double the original investments we'd have to pay 200 million to get them to put all this stuff that's on the shelves into the game for us so that saves us 200 million dollars that is awesome Oh yeah, come on, nice push, give me something. Well, the good thing about it, um, all this money being stuck right here in the center, it is definitely helping the corners move. You see what I'm saying? Look at that, we just got the tower on the left corner to go. That is outstanding. Heck yeah, and I think we might be able to trick shot that ginormous dollar sign money mister back into the game as well. Would be nice if we could do that, wouldn't it? Nice, got a huge stack of quarters on that right corner there. Pretty sure everybody's seen that. Now, there's a lot of gold down there. Thank goodness they started, you know, putting more uh, one ounce gold bars in these games. I mean, for a while there, they were not putting any gold whatsoever. But the crazy thing is they would put gold dice in there, but no gold. Like it didn't even make sense at all. Oh nice, we got that green earbud, I'm pretty sure. Alright, yeah, here it is. Check this out. So we'll get to turn this in. They'll take the stuff that's on the white shelves. They'll put it into the play field. Oh nice. Well, we somehow got a whole bunch of $5,000 chips right there. Wasn't really paying attention to it. I just heard them fall. Oh, wow. That right there was a nice push, wasn't it? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Look at that jackpot, baby. That was insane right there, you all. Oh, nice. We even got that stack of cash without it getting stuck in there. That is absolutely magnificent right there, you all. Heck, yeah. Yep, check this out. So there's 10,000 bucks in each one of these stacks of cash. They got them like wrapped up, I guess, to keep them from, you know, breaking apart. You know that seal that holds all the cash together? But yeah, there's been several occasions where that thing has broke loose and all the cash went like everywhere in the uh, play field. That push right there was outstanding. It's one of the best drops right there we've gotten all game the whole entire game yeah I'm really really liking this new machine so far uh, believe it or not we have only gotten one losing game on this one and that was actually yesterday I played another game after I uh, posted yesterday's video I stopped back by here yesterday evening I was going to get today's video out of the way but uh, anyway, it was a terrible game, honestly. It was, you know, pretty much my fault. I ended up paying, you know, too much money. The manager overcharged me. There wasn't that many towers in there. And uh, let's just say we ended up losing around. I think it was like $235 million. We spent like $300 million on the game. And, we only won, you know, a certain amount back, so. Anyway, let's see. I'm debating, should we go ahead and turn in that green earbud? Have them take the stuff that's on the blue shelves and put it into the play field? I keep on calling it the blue shelves. In reality, it's the white shelves. I'm so used to that other machine, it'll take me a while to adjust to this one. Yeah, we haven't even played that other machine in days. I mean, I don't don't really see the point in playing it now. This machine right here is doing real well. Yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead and uh, turn in that green earbud. And uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in the uh, green earbud. They took all the towers that was on the side shelves. They put them all into the playing field. They put all the $25,000 chip towers in decent locations. Hopefully we don't lose nothing to the shelves though. 
Yeah, usually if the towers are stacked up pretty tall like that, we end up losing something to the shelf, but hopefully that's not the case today. They also like reset that tower of $5,000 chips. It was on that right corner and move it like further back and more toward the center, I guess. So it's honestly in a pretty good spot. I'm not going to complain about it. All right, let's see. Now let's continue pushing across the whole field, try to get all this stuff to get moving. Wow, that was a nice push right there, wasn't it? Oh yeah, tower on the right side fell backwards. The dice landed like in the right center area of the pressure shelf right there. I think we're going to get this tower on the left side to go really, really soon. Any second now. Oh my goodness, nice. There we go, we got it. That is awesome. Heck yeah. So the number for today is nine so be sure you comment the number nine down in the comment section that will let me know that you're still watching the video and tuned into the video and whatnot so yeah be sure you comment the number nine down below and also hit that like button if you haven't already let's try to go for uh, 10,000 likes on this video today. 10,000 likes. I know we can get there. Just need everybody watching to hit that like button. If something happens, we can get to 10,000 likes within 24 hours of this video being posted to YouTube. We've never been able to do it before, but I've got confidence in each and every one of you that you can hit that like button and stuff. If everybody teams up, we would get there in a little of no time. If we can get to 10,000 likes on this video within 24 hours of it being posted, I will try a $1 billion buy-in really, really soon, like within the next day or two. So, yeah, be sure you uh, hit that like button. Oh yeah, nice, there we go, we got that humongous tower on the right side. Yeah, it looks like we only lost like, what, 20 grand to the shelf in total? Over there on that right hand side. That ain't too awful bad, really. Alright, let's clear out that loot chute, it is extremely full. Wow, there's a lot of gold stuck in there. That's for sure. Alright, there we go. So uh, let's get right back to pushing. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get both of these mystery bags right here. The staff just put both of the mystery bags right there in the center, so. Yeah, I'm hoping there's another special chip or a special earbud in one of the mystery bags or something. Something that will get us a free tower. Or potentially that $50 chip, that would be nice as well. Basically, if we win that $50 chip, you see how we're about to lose 25 grand to the side slot on the right side there? We call them the banker slots. Any money that falls down in there goes to the owner, but if we win the $50 chip, they give us a second chance of winning all the stuff that's falling down in there, which is incredibly nice, so... Oh wow, it's pushing really, really good. I'm thinking we might get at least one of these mystery bags here. Say something happens, they don't fall down. Well, I think we just got one of them. Nice, and we also got the cash out of there. Wow, you couldn't get much better than that. Two for the price of one. Anyway, what I was going to say, if that other mystery bag does not fall out of there, the casino staff will more than likely count it as a win know what I'm saying. Because if something gets stuck against the glass two times in a row, the same item gets stuck two times in a row, a lot of times they'll just go ahead and let you claim it. But I honestly think we're going to be able to get it, you know, before We need to call them back here, so. 
Anyway, let's just push like on the right center area. I'm trying just to avoid that left side completely. See, the thing about this machine where we can put so many quarters in there at one time, the quarters will roll over to the opposite side that you're putting quarters in like work. Look at this right here. See how we pushed as far right as possible? Some ended up going toward the left. Here's a better example. Yeah, see that? How there's some going on the left. So that's why it's best to like, I guess just push across the whole field right there in the center. Because they're going to go everywhere anyway. Yep, there it goes. Nice. We got the Mr. Bag. I was thinking that it was going to go on that push right there. So let's open up the first Mr. Bag. I've been holding this one in my hand for about a minute or so now. Alright, so let's check this out and see if they got any nice and valuable goodies in there. Hopefully it's loaded up real good. Oh my goodness, wow, it was loaded up super good. We got a couple more white dice. Actually, more than a couple. Alright, so we got uh, two $1 chips. That's a thousand quarters. We got 20 grand in $10,000 chips. We got a one ounce gold bar. So that's 2500 and some dollars an ounce. We got uh, six white dice right here. So that's pretty good. That puts us up to eight white dots that we've won in total. That is absolutely magnificent. We'll turn in those other two $1 chips here in just a second. But now let's go ahead and move on to this mister back here. This one is extremely heavy. Yeah, whatever's in this one, it's definitely loaded up better than the one we just opened up right there. So let's check it out and see what we've won today. Oh my goodness. Wow, it was loaded up super good. Check this out. We got the $50 chip. Wow, that right there is absolutely amazing. So, like I was saying, we'll get to turn this in. They'll take all the stuff that's falling down in those uh, banker slots. They'll put it all back into the play field. Got two $1 chips. That's a thousand quarters. I will take that. We also got the uh, another one ounce gold bar. That's pretty good. And, uh, well, I didn't mean to drop it on the floor like that. But, anyway, we got uh, the Mystery Money Keychain. This right here is really, really unique. This could be worth $1 all the way up to a billion dollars. So, I will ask them what that's worth here in just a few minutes. And we also got 15 grand in chips and $5,000 chips. We got four more gold dice and one white dice. So, yeah, we did really, really well with those Mystery Bags right there. Both of them were loaded up extremely good. So, Let's go ahead and turn in the $1 chips and that $50 chip. They'll take all the stuff that's falling down the banker slots. They'll put it all back into the play field. So we will be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $50 chip and all those other $1 chips. They gave us, what was it, like 1,500, 2,000 quarters? However many $1 chips it was, I can't really remember. But uh, anyway, we turned in the $50 chip. The casino staff took all the stuff that had fallen down in the banker slots today. They put it all back into the playing field for us. So, yeah, to be honest with you, there was a lot more in there than I was expecting. Like, look at that big old tower back there. All that's five, ten, and twenty-five thousand dollar chips. And I definitely don't remember losing all that stuff right there. So that means somebody else had been playing. And multiple people have been playing this machine, you know, before I got here and lost all that stuff. And I don't remember losing all that much gold either, so... There's definitely quite a bit of stuff in there. Wish me luck, everybody. Hopefully we can push all this stuff over the edge and make an absolute fortune. We're getting tons of quarters back, that's for sure. Just got a one-ounce skull bar there. And they even got like a uh, dark blue mister back on top of this tower here. So, yeah, the casino staff told me that they had put that mister bag in there. Somebody didn't like lose that or nothing. Yeah, basically they just told me some special items had fallen down in the banker slots today and they put those into that mister bag. So we might be, you know, winning another special chip out of that mystery bag, or it could just be dice. They just use the words uh, special items, so I don't know what that can mean. That can mean anything. Could be another uh, mystery money keychain. Speaking of the mystery money keychain, uh, they said the one that we won today, they said it was worth $40,000. 
which is not really the greatest amount that we've gotten. I was expecting it to be a lot more considering we spent, you know, 300 million, but it is what it is. I'm okay with it. I mean, it's much better than it being worth only a dollar, so. And just so you know, the white dice will multiply the value of that keychain along with the cash and the poker chips. So just thought I should point that out as well. been a really really good game today so far I'd say the video might be every bit of 30 minutes long maybe less today I don't know this game has went by fairly quick to be honest with you and we've only been filming this video one hour 59 minutes and 43 seconds so we're coming up on two hours in total Yeah, most of the time, on average, we got three or four hours in these games. Then again, who knows how much longer it's going to take to knock down this tower right here. Could take, I don't know, 30 more minutes. You never know. Yeah, that's definitely a lot more poker chips than you usually see on the $50 chip round. I mean, like I said, depending on the quantity of the poker chips that have fallen down in the banker slots, that determines the quality of the tower that they're going to build out of it. Sometimes they could build a smaller tower. Sometimes, like, you know, depending on how much is down in there, they could just, you know, sometimes scatter it across the whole field with a whole bunch of poker chips on the pressure and the lower shelf. Like I said, depends on the quantity of the poker chips that's in there. That is technically all that amounts to. tower is being pretty stubborn though. It's one of the most stubborn towers we've tried to win the whole game. Yeah, but I always like a challenge. If we knock down the towers real easily, then what's the point in that? You know, the staff, they, uh, they make it to where the towers won't fall down as easily. Oh my goodness, wow. Look at that. We just made millions upon millions of dollars right there. Including we got that uh, blue mystery bag. Wow, that is awesome. So let's see, should we go ahead and open up the mystery bag? Well, the strings wasn't, you know, tied on this one for whatever reason. But anyhow, let's check it out. Oh, wow, we got a gold dice and a white dice. That's pretty good right there. I'm not sure if we lost both of those or if somebody else had lost them. I'm going to assume somebody else had lost it because it seems like we've won all the dice that was in there today. So let's push across the whole field. Let's try to get all these remaining poker chips out of here. It's doing really, really good so far. And I just now noticed this. I think I glanced at it earlier, but didn't say anything, but I just now noticed it again. There's like four or five $25,000 chips stuck right there in that banker slot. And I think that is uh, blocking stuff from falling down that banker slot on the left which is a good thing technically but I was hoping they would take those out of there and put them into the play field we'll be all right though we do need to win 300 million back today though that's the only obstacle we're facing right now all right so anyhow we got it all cleared out of there today that is absolutely amazing this has been a heck of a game I'll tell you that so now it is time to call the casino staff back here. They'll put all those dice that we've won on the pressure shelf back there. And using our quarters, we got to roll them down to the lower shelf. And whatever numbers are facing upwards, that's going to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned, everybody. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I call the casino staff back here. 
they put all those dice that we've won on the pressure my goodness they are landing on some outstanding numbers today let's see if we can keep it that way if any of them land on ones they do not count at all we got four ones in total that ain't too bad or actually five ones if you count the uh gold dice right there so uh, anyway the majority of those dice did really really well so i'm going to count everything up multiply our winnings and our gold by all of this right here and i'll let y'all know what we ended up winning today from a 300 million dollar buy-in we'll be right back stay tuned y'all you all are not going to believe how much money we ended up winning today from a 300 million dollar buy-in this right here is absolutely fantastic I was not expecting to win this massive today, especially considering we lost like 200 million right off the bat. So anyhow, we ended up winning $19,415,000, that is all the poker chips, the cash and the value of that mystery money keychain all put together. And the uh, white dice today totaled up to 46, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 46. And in total, that put us up to $893,090,000 from a $300 million investment. So that means we profited $593,090,000 today. Oh my goodness, I honestly don't even know what to say. I am absolutely thrilled right now. I cannot believe we ended up making that much money. That is absolutely amazing. That was definitely an unexpected win. I mean, y'all seen at the beginning of the game, we were just losing big time money. We lost $200 million, and luckily on the third buy-in that we done, that's when we got it to go and started getting quarters back. So thank goodness we ended up winning all that. We could really, really use a good win like that today. So be sure you leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed that right there. And moving on, the wind doesn't even end there. On top of that, we won 117 ounces of gold. And the uh, gold dice today totaled up to 20, so that put us up to 2,340 ounces of gold. The spot price of gold is 2,510 an ounce right now, I suppose. That means we got $5,873,400 in gold. That is a fantastic win for the gold there. I will take that. And uh, anyway, last but not least, we ended up winning 1,218 quarters. So let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $304.50 in quarters. I will take it. So anyhow, that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a $300 million investment. So if you all enjoyed today's video and you want to see more videos like this every single day, be sure you leave a like on the video. Consider subscribing to the channel and uh, turn on the bell icon that way you're up to date for future videos. I upload videos every single day like I said so anyway if you want to check out yesterday's video that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. If you want to subscribe to my channel that will appear at the top right of the screen. And if you want to check out a video on the second channel that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. If you want to subscribe to the second channel that will appear at the top left of the screen. So with all that being said and stated I will see each and every one of you all on tomorrow's video. You all take care and have an amazing day, everybody.